the following screen issues such as these and these have they ever happened to you without doubt these touch issues such as ghost touch have occurred to many repairers who had ordered Incel and OLED screens from China. We will analyze these issues in terms of the screen technology and the screen market. Common touch problems are The newly installed screen is ghost touch? Cannot touch at all? Partially ghost touch or unresponsive? Harder to understand. The touch issues happen a few days later after screen replacement. Let's check these issues together. Case 1. Cannot touch at all. It is probably caused by improper installation. Check the flex connectors, ensure that they have been connected well, and check the flex cables, ensure that they have not been damaged. Then install the screen again. Case 2, partial unresponsive. Mostly, the screen itself has a quality issue. It is advisable for you to install a new screen. Case 3, the screen is ghost touch, if not ESD or improper installation. We could figure out the issue by analyzing how a screen works. It needs both hardware and software to work. In hardware, for the original screen, the display is independent of the Touch IC. The leading companies, such as Samsung, Taiwan Semiconductor Supply IC to Apple, with the advanced 14 nanometers and 7 nanometers process. The IC is endowed with top computing power. The aftermarket Incel screen driver technology is DDDI. The main IC is in charge of the display driver and touch driver simultaneously. And it is supplied by China mainland manufacturers. For well-known reasons. The IC process is lower, in most cases, 28 nanometers to 70 nanometers. The lower process would lead to lower performance. In software, the driver IC software volume of the new iPhone screen is getting larger. The aftermarket low process IC has insufficient computing power for complex software data. Hence the auxiliary IC is employed for assisting computing. Generally speaking, there are the following hardware and software solutions in the aftermarket. A. Dual Layer Circuit Scheme That is, it employs lithographic dual layer flex circuits. The advantage is that no extra IC needed. Hence the bomb cost is lower, while the disadvantage is that the dual layer circuits are easily overheated. So it cannot function well for a long time run. B. Dual Core two sets with EEPROM driver IC. The advantage is the IC quantity is doubled. The auxiliary IC plus the 28 nanometers main IC have the same computing power as the original 14 nanometers IC, thus could compute big software data. C, one core. Only one set with EEPROM driver IC, though it has less computing power than 14 nanometers IC. However, the added auxiliary IC can help a little. Still, the computing power is not high enough, and overheating also could happen, thus affect the stability. D. Rewrite code. Simplify the driver software. The advantage is to simplify the software from the bottom layer. Theoretically, the smaller the software, the more smoothly it runs. However, since iPhone 10, the original software has been encrypted, very hard to hack. The aftermarket software employs reverse research and development. It has lots of software bugs, lacks stability, Learn from numerous experience, we find out that For hardware, two sets with EEPROM driver IC is the best choice Apparently, the cost is higher because more materials are needed Since the IC has lacked materials in 2020 The dual-core screens keep on employing more materials So the difficulty is the shortage of marshals and delayed supply Two reasons for the quality issue One is careless QC The poor quality screens have not been removed the other is the overhyped brightness. To improve the display performance, some manufacturers employ over high power backlight units. As a result, the screens get serious heating issues, lack of stability and endurance, thus damage the in-cell touch circuits. The screen touch is partially unresponsive or cannot function forever. Back to DDDI in-cell screen. It should employ suitable power backlight units to avoid touch issue because of overhyped brightness and we advise against choosing the screens with over high brightness. Meanwhile, we give the following installation tips. Touch a metal object. It can reduce the ESD. Or wear an anti-static wrist strap to reduce the ESD. The new QD Pro 2.0 has made many improvements in both software and hardware. 
1. QD Pro employs dual core, two sets with EEPROM driver IC. More powerful performance. 2. Rewrite software code, simplify driver software package. It has higher stability with optimized data. 3. Reasonable brightness. QD Pro brightness is as high as the original. With reasonable power dissipation, it performs well on brightness, color, and stability. And it avoids the heating issues caused by high power backlight units. Hence prevent its touch circuits from being damaged. 4. Employee ESD Conductive Silver Glue to Remove ESD It can remove ESD to reduce the ghost touch. 5. The Original Kof Assemblies Narrow Bezel, Better Vision 6. The new updated QD Pro 2.0 has High but reasonable brightness, top level color performance, excellent display. We promise that the new QD Pro 2.0 will not have a ghost touch issue, otherwise, you will get a double refund.